Uh, g'day students. Okay, in this video we're going to look at um, some applications where we have to work backwards to find the original price. Okay, let's look at this first example. Great Grocery Supermarket marks up all of its bakery products by 75%. So the selling price of a loaf of bread is $3.49. What is the original cost price? So what we have to think here is first off, since we're looking for the cost price, we're really looking for the original amount. And we know the formula for the original amount is part over percent. So we're going to have to use this formula. Now here's where we got to do a little bit of thinking. The part in this case is the selling price. So on top we're going to have the selling price. Now on the bottom, these two things have to relate to each other. So this has to be the percent of the selling price compared to the cost price. So the selling price is $3.49. And the percent selling price, well, originally the whole amount, the original amount is 100%. We've added on a markup of 75%. So the percent selling price, the percent selling price is 175% of the original amount of the cost price. So in this case, we're going to have to divide by 175% or 1.75. Okay, let's go ahead and do that on the calculator. Pull it off to the side, 3.49 divided by 1.75. And it looks like we get something pretty close to about uh, $2. So let's go ahead and just say it looks like the original amount was $2. So we could check that out by um, adding, finding 75% of $2, which would be about $1.50, adding that on to the $2, and we do get the, the uh, $3.49. So these questions, you got to think a little bit, because first off, we're looking for the original amount. In this case, the cost price is the original amount. It's part over percent. The part in this case is actually more than the percent. It's $349, which is more than the original $2 price. And these two quantities have to relate to each other. So if it's sales price on top, it's percent sale price on the bottom, which turns out to be 175% or 1.75. So we're going to leave that question for now. We'll come back to that one. And I'd like you to try this question using the same reasoning. Okay, so flip off your video, uh, have a go, and then come back and we'll go through the answer. Okay, welcome back. Let's see how we went. Now, for this particular question, again, we're looking for the original price. So the cost price is the original amount. The selling price, in this case, is the part. So here's an example where the part is greater than the original amount. And that's the markup just there. So we're going to start by writing original amount equals part over percent. Okay, now we've got to make sure we put the right numbers in here. Now the part is the selling price of $80. I'm going to put SP up there. And the bottom has to relate to that. If the top is the selling price, the bottom has to be the selling price as a percent. So the selling price is $80. Now, what percent is the selling price of the original cost price? Well, the cost price is 100%. We've added on 80%, which is 180%, or as a decimal, 1.8. 80 divide 1.8. 
and it looks like $44.44 was the original cost price. So $44.44. So these are some of the trickier questions in financial mathematics, but if you keep thinking that we're looking for the original amount and the top and the bottom of the fraction have to re refer to the same thing and you practice this, they do start to get a bit easier. Okay, well, moving on to the, another video using the same mathematics, but looking at uh, sales price and discount.